All right, so we're here at Cedar Mountain Winery, and uh, we're getting ready to press some grapes for Charles R., the uh, 09 Zinfandel. So it sat in the bins for a few days and did some uh, fermenting and cold soaking. And here we see the fruit that's been destemmed and crushed a bit going into the press. And this will come out liquid that'll be put into a uh, bin and then brought back over to the winery, probably sit in the bin to cold stabilize for a little while and then it'll be uh, barreled after that where it'll age for about 18 months before it's bottled. All right, so here we have uh, Charles R. winemaker Randy Bartlett. You missed the beginning of the narration there, winemaker Randy Bartlett. I started my nice one. You burn yourself? No. Yeah, you need to wear those gloves. <laughs> so what's going on? Good, real good. Preston Zinfandel today. Yep. Series, this is series three, right? This is series three, and I already gave a little bit of the rundown uh, when Earl was dumping the fruit in that were, you know, it sat in the bins for a few days to cold soak and all that good stuff, and then. Uh, we're pressing it. What does that mean? Well, we're pressing uh, fermented fermented grapes. They're all done fermenting. Now they're going in the press, and we'll press out all the grapes. We're getting a lot of free run right now. Getting a lot of what? Free run okay. down here. It's pouring out. That's all the grapes. See here. So that's all free run juice so it hasn't been pressed at all there's no oh, okay so it siphons off the stuff that's already liquid it siphons it off and then the heavy stuff just the all solid that, stuff goes and gets pressed all the solid stuff all the big big grapes gets pressed okay and what it does is it does it six times five pound increments so it'll press lateral press and go pump up to five pounds it'll deflate it'll spin fluff it back up and it'll pump back up, 10 pounds, deflate, spin it, fluff it back up, 15 pounds, all the way up to 30 pounds. Okay. Once it hits 30, then we're all done pressing. Got it. And then from here, we'll pump, everything's being pumped in a tank, and we'll leave it in the tank for four or five days, let it all settle off, save me a racking, and then from there, we'll go to girls. Cool. So, yeah. Ready. It's all computerized. So after we get all the grapes in there, come over here, we'll hit the settings, turn it on. Like I said, here's all the, it'll go up five pound increments all the way to 30. Okay. Looks pretty complicated, but it's actually really not. Got two of them. Going in the hopper. You want to take the shot down in the presser. Oh, yeah. So another little shot there of the free run, huh? There it is. Beautiful stuff. 09 Zinfandel, baby. That's it. Look at the color. It's a thing of beauty. Only by Charles R. There you go. There's the best Zinfandel in the state of California. Ooh, now that's a call. That is. Harsh statement. Harsh. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna make some friends in the wine business with that quote, oh my man. Oh boy, they'll love me, huh? <laughs> so we're putting in another bin. All right, Randy, so how many bins are we doing here? Are the Zin and seven. Uh, seven? Seven bins, four tons. So that's four tons, roughly. What is that going to translate into? Into how many barrels and how many uh, cases? 160 gallons per ton, so I'll do the math. No, I'm asking you to do the math. That's not my strength. Not my strength. 
My well, strength is making the best thing in the world. Well, uh, we've heard you say I thought it was California. I'll change it to the world. Oh, okay, now you're going bigger, huh? <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> bigger is better, right? <laughs> you said what you said.